Okay, here we go. This is homework still doing solutions from homework number three, and now we're on to problem number three. So problem number three says, what is the mass of a 40 milliliter sample of balsa wood? Will this 40 milliliter hunk of balsa wood float or sink in distilled water? So you might be going for a second there, whoa, dude, where's the density? How am I supposed to know how to do this problem? I've only been given the volume. Well, you kind of got to be a problem solver here. Problem solver here. Again, refer back to the pre-learning. If you go to page 213, you'll see a chart, and on that chart, you will find the density of balsa wood. So that is, in fact, one of our givens. So we know the volume of the balsa wood, which is, sorry, well, I'll just write over that, 40 milliliters. Then you look up the density, and you will find the density of balsa wood is equal to 0.12 gram per milliliter, so it's not very dense material. R, what do we need to solve for? In this case now, it's a little different. What is the mass? So we're solving for the mass, right in the very beginning of the statement. What is the mass? We're going to still use our formula. Density equals mass over volume, because for the time being, that's the only formula we have that's got mass in it as a variable. Uh, continuing on with our solution then. Solve, so we know the density, so it's 0.12 grams per milliliter equal the mass, which we don't know, over the volume of 40 milliliters. So some pretty straightforward, hopefully, algebra here. We need to isolate our variable, so we're going to multiply both sides of the formula by 40. I'll try that in a different color here, so to highlight it. So we're dividing by 40, so the inverse is to multiply by 40. Multiply that side by 40. Multiply this side by 40. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. 40 over 40 cancels out. 40 divided by 40 is 1. So we're left with mass over here, which we're hoping to solve for. Then we just do very straightforward 40 times 0.12. And the solution to that is 4.8. Now here's the cool thing. I didn't write down the units, but I should have. This was Remember, this was 40 milliliters. Well, looky here. 40 milliliter divided by milliliter cancels out. So we know we're on the right track because we're left with our units of grams. So the mass of... A 40 milliliter sample of balsa wood is, I'm sorry, yeah, the mass of a 40 milliliter sample of balsa wood is 4.8 grams. I'll have that suffice for my paraphrase there, okay? Um, any other questions for this one? Will this 40 milliliter hunk of balsa wood float or sink in distilled water? Well, we know already that it will float. We don't have to do any more work because we already know the density of balsa wood. 0.12 is much less than the density of water, which is 1.0 gram per milliliter. shouldn't have to look that up. You should just know it off the top of your head. So if the density is less than the density of fluid, that equals floating. Et voila. And we're done.